welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some felted pom-poms using the wet felting technique. So for this you need some wool, so you can have this in any colour that you want your pom-pom balls in. You will need a felting base or a brush and your needle felt needle there. You'll also need a box or a bowl which you're going to use for the wet felting part. Some hot or warm soapy water. This is crucial to make sure that the felted pom-poms are nice and smooth. A bit of bubble wrap there to felt onto and a towel just to keep everything dry in the background. So firstly what I do is I get my wool piece here and I start wrapping up very tightly just trying to make it into that ball shape there. Now you're probably going to need quite a bit more wool than you think so take a big piece just keep on wrapping up nice and tightly So you sort of have a rough ball shape there. Then I get my needle and I just start felting it just a tiny bit. So stab the needle in just to get all the loose bits together. So this will help quicken up the process and also make sure that you're having a nice rounded ball shape. And then I just tend to roll it in my hands just a little bit. So you see we've got a rough baseball shape there. So you just want to carry on with your other pieces. So all of these pieces I made sure that were roughly the same size there. So again just begin to wrap it up tightly. And then grab your needle and do exactly the same and just start stabbing it around the wall, getting all the loose ends together. So I've tried different versions and different techniques of this but I find this one is most effective to get a really nice smooth rounded shape. I found the other techniques were a bit lopsided or I had bits of fibre still hanging loose from it. So you can do the dry needle felting technique so just using this needle and just going all the way around the ball and just keep on going like that. It can take a long time so I find this wet felting technique reduces the amount of time it takes. You can make your garland or whatever you're using your pom-poms for quite quickly. I'll just do the last one there. So again, wrap it up nice and tight. Going one way and then another way. Just 
just be careful not to catch your fingers. You can wear a guard for your fingers or a thimble for your thumb. Then with the next step, make sure you've got warm or hot soapy water here. So that's still quite warm. If it gets cool, you'll have to replace it. It needs to stay nice and warm there. I'll just move these out of the way. I then get my box or bowl and pop the balls in there. You can make a whole batch of them to get through them quite quickly. And just pour in a little bit of the water there. It doesn't have to be too much. Then I put the lid on it and then just start shaking it. You want to make sure that the balls are covered in the water. So those are nice, you can see there that they're soaked in the water and I can feel that they're nice and soaked. You don't want it absolutely dripping with it, but you want it fully soaked through so that they're quite easy to felt there. So this may take several times to do, but I think with these ones, it seems to have worked well the first time round. So I'll move that out of the way. So now you take your piece here, the bubble wrap, flatten it out, and then pop the ball on there, and then just very gently start rolling it around. I, I feel that it doesn't really work very well if you're pressing too hard on it, so just gently moving it around and then alternate between the bubble wrap and your hands, just very gently rolling it around. So this step can take a little while as you're just slowly making the ball firmer there. It's beginning to feel firmer already. So you could do several of these at the same time by popping them all down onto the bubble wrap and using a flat lid or plate and just gently pressing it around onto it. So as you can see there, it's reduced down in size because it's now got a lot firmer than this one here. Still a bit fluffy so I can work on that again in a minute. So I'll just put that back in the box there and I'll work on the next one. So you can see this one is now reducing in size because it's getting quite similar to the other one. It's getting much more firm to the touch. So this one hasn't been done yet. You can see the size difference there. This is a lot more squidgy and this is firmer. So the more you work it, the firmer it should get and it should also get nice and smooth. So once you do this a few times, you'll 
really begin to get the technique with it and get a little bit faster with it. So there we go. Again, it's still a little bit fluffy, but I'll pop that in the box and work on that with the other one in a minute. And work on the last one there. So that one is also now a lot more firm to the touch. So there you are. That's roughly the same size there. A lot firmer than they were. So you can see how much all that wool reduces down to. So all I want to do now is just neaten it up a bit. So I tend to do the same process, pop it back in here add just a little bit more, make sure it's hot, a little bit more water there, close the box up and shake it. Then just do exactly the same as you did before. Also sometimes put a tiny bit on there. Just find that helps to smooth it out a bit. So I've smoothed that one over there and again you can see how much it's reduced in size again. And the last one. it your wet felted pom-pom balls there so I put these usually in a nice warm dry cupboard and depending on how wet they are it'll take longer or shorter to dry so I usually leave mine for about 24 hours to really dry through so then they will turn into those so these are nice and dry so they've expanded a little bit there as they've dried out but they're all nice and firm and they're ready to use for a garland so you can do these in all different colors in all different sizes but they're really lovely to use for a nice garland so if you want to see more videos like this one, like and subscribe and comment down below and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.